The popular book by Zakaya Delilah Harris has been turned into a Hulu TV show. Let's talk about the other black girl. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my TV review for The Other Black Girl. This is streaming on Hulu right now uh, after a big bidding war for the rights to this book uh, for either a series or a film or, or whatever. And Hulu uh, won that bidding war and uh, took it into a series form. So we'll talk about all of this here in just a moment and my thoughts on it. But first, let me welcome you into Dan Reviews It. Thank you for finding this video. We do movie and TV reviews here on the channel. And just about every day, I try to post something new. So always a lot going on. Uh, you can subscribe down below. would love to have you there. Uh, like this video, comment below, uh, and check out the playlist on the homepage as well. Um, we've got the movie stuff uh, in a playlist, the TV stuff, different years uh, of all of those. So everything's kind of streamlined uh, for you on the homepage there. All right, so let's talk about this, the other black girl. So this involves... Um, Nella Rogers, who is uh, an editor's assistant uh, at Wagner Books, and she is the only black woman working for the whole company until the hiring of Hazel May McCall. And after that hire, some strange things happen, and uh, Nella starts discovering the truth about uh, her new co-worker. Sinclair Daniel plays Nella Rogers. Uh, Ashley Murray, who you may know from Riverdale, she played Josie uh, of Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, she plays Hazel. Um, and I didn't actually recognize her. I, I stopped watching Riverdale years ago. Um, and, you know, that was, what, six... It probably started six or seven years ago, right? Um, and so, uh, she, you know, she's grown a lot since then. That's like a high school-based show. Um, so I, I barely recognized her, but I was like, she looks kind of familiar. Uh, but other names you may know uh, from this, Bellamy Young is here as uh, Nella's boss. She is the uh, the editor at Wagner Books. Um and she was on Scandal. Uh, Eric McCormack from uh, Will and Grace, of course. He is the founder and editor-in-chief at Wagner Books, Richard Wagner. Um, and we also uh, have Zachary uh, Bostrom playing him in Flashbacks. Um, and also Brian Baumgartner, who played uh, Kevin on The Office. He plays a, a big, successful author at Wagner Books whose books are a bit problematic, specifically his new book that uh, he has written. Um, and, uh, no surprise, I guess, that there's an office alum in this because, uh, this was developed as a series by Rashida Jones, along with the author of the book, uh, Zakiya Delilah Harris. So, um, you know, Rashida Jones obviously has that office connection. Um, and, you know, Brian Baumgartner plays a great sort of everyman and sort of, uh, somebody who maybe is a bit clued out on, you know, signs of the times. So, uh, you know, that makes sense. Um, and, and this book and the subsequent series um, are also sort of um, based on Harris's own experiences as an editor um, and the racism that she experienced uh, at, at the corporate level. Um, and so this show is described as a comedy, drama, mystery, thriller. It's trying to wear a lot of hats, and I'm not sure that it succeeds uh, at all of them. Um, certainly the thriller and the mystery aspect are really slow going. So there are 10 episodes of this. Um, and as always, you know, I try to give a good sample of a show before uh, I give my my thoughts. And on occasion, I'll watch the whole thing. Um, usually when there's 10 episodes, I will just kind of give a, a little sample. But I got almost halfway through this. I watched four of the 10 episodes. Um, and I may continue on um, because I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with these characters. But the mystery and the thriller aspect have moved so slowly in these four episodes. Essentially, uh, and without spoilers, um, at the end of every episode is like one kind of um, not even, not even info drop because it's more uh, activating the mystery element. Something will happen that maybe is a little bit thrillery, um, but more on the mystery tip. Like at the end of the first episode, and again, no spoilers, but, um, our main character, you know, finds a letter and that's, that's all, you know, I'll say, but, um, it's, it's got no context. She doesn't know what it means. We don't know what it means. So, okay, that entices us to go back to episode two. But episode two isn't about the letter, really. Um, you know, we, we get a little drip and drab of it, but not much. Um, and, and so that aspect is frustrating because if this is to be a mystery and thriller, let's get those moving more in tandem with the satire and the drama of 
the office. Um, and that stuff to me was really, really interesting. Obviously, we have seen, you know, a lot of shows and movies um, with, you know, racism at the office and at corporate levels and stuff. But the writing here is really sharp. Um, and, and so it's being done in a way that maybe is a bit different um, than some of the things we've seen before, especially uh, in these, those first two episodes where we see uh, Brian Baumgartner's character, the author, um, and we're dealing sort of with the problematic nature of his book and, oh, you know, I, I, I want to say something, but I've sort of been told not to, you know, by my boss because he's a cash cow for the company, but I feel like I need to, to kind of save him from himself. And like that stuff to me was by far the most interesting stuff of this show. And maybe that's because, you know, I didn't get far enough to really unravel some more of the mysteries and the, and the thriller aspects, but you know, I'm, I'm halfway through the season, so shouldn't I have seen a little bit more of that so far? Episode four does give us um, a little more of the, okay, who is this Hazel and what is her angle? What's she doing? Um, but still, it's, it's not necessarily enough um, to really call this, you know, a, a mystery thriller along with um, you know, a, a comedy drama. And the comedy really does come in more of the uh, the satire nature. You know, I, I wasn't busting a gut laughing uh, with this, but certainly, um, you know, the satirical nature of, you know, corporate uh, behaviors and racism at the corporate level and, and all of that kind of stuff, um, you know, I, I think, is, is hitting that mark. Um, so overall, this is a bit of a mixed bag for, uh, you know, for me, but I will say, unlike, uh, you know, some of the other shows, um, that I've reviewed lately, like Changeling, which is like this, this mystery thriller that I, I don't think they covered a lot of those aspects. Um, I just reviewed that the other day. That's on Apple TV plus, um, you know, I, I, I watched three episodes and I still was like, I don't really care about any of this. Um, you know, whereas here I definitely care about, okay, who is this Hazel? What is her story? Um, so I probably will continue watching, but yeah, the, the, the tonal shifts and, um, not necessarily even shifts, just not necessarily playing the hand of the mystery and thriller aspect, um, you know, almost at all in those first couple of episodes um, leads me to, to lower this one a little bit. But I leave the other black girl with a B, and you can check this out now on Hulu. Thank you for watching Day Reviews. It. We'll see you next time.